hello guys in this video we are going to implement today the swagger uh, for like api definition and description on a web page and <coughs> it will be created automatically so let's start so this is the same video switch i am continuing and this is the chapter 3 okay and okay so let's see these are the two steps for implementing the swagger so the first thing is like i need to install like not this this is okay so i need to install first the package and let me go to and install the package and that package name is yes this is the swag so this is the package which i need to install okay so this is the first one and i am clicking on install it insert the web application api so these are all the dependencies you can see like microsoft.openapi.net uh, swagger.net core swagger swagger generator swagger ui these are the dependent library so all these will be installed simultaneously so i just need to click and accept it and right here installation is going on so now you can see it's installed okay so now let's close it and now the second step the, we have completed the first step now second step is we need to modify the startup.cs file okay so let's go to startup.cs file and in the configure services method I need to write this code so for saving the time I have going to copy and paste this because I have already written these things okay so uh, I am going to put it at the bottom of this method okay so here it is so I have given it a uh, name like v1 and the middle or meaningful name like title version and the description and now i need to modify like the configure method okay and in this method i need to add these two lines basically so let me copy this and let me paste it here okay so we just need to add these three things basically the three line here first i need to install that right that specifical dot dot sp dot net core package and then i need to write this like server generator i need to add here and in that i am calling this server document and this is using the open api uh, open api info model basically this model is inside this this open api namespace okay and here i am calling the middleware basically at the end after after like use endpoints okay so here i am providing the url and keep this thing in mind that that when we are like going to add v1 here then we, i need to also like mention here the same version uh, otherwise it will not work okay and also when like you will put the code on production and over there if we get error then we need to remove this thing here from here so on production this url will work okay so for now I just delete it 
be like this and let me run the project so it will not run still because I also need to do one more thing so first let it run now okay so as you can see right here this basically it will work but uh, I need to like run the server as a default URL okay so okay uh, we have we have applied like authentication authentication in this endpoint okay about it so in the last video we had applied the authentication here in the weather forecast controller okay that's why we are not able to open this url okay so let me do one thing so let me stop this i'm going to change the launch setting and here i am going to put this url here basically i am going to put it here swagger okay and just here paste it and that's it so here you can see now the url is like swagger okay and it will generate also generate the code let it load first okay now it's loading so here you can see right now we are having only three api so this is login right this is weather forecast which we were trying to get so if i will try it out then it will return success okay it returned 200 okay like okay now i need to execute it so here like we got 401 undocumented error okay okay so, so just let it okay Let's cancel it. I am going to try this. Right, I am going to add a username. Okay. So right, I need to click on try it out, and I need to like enter here the. So this is not the password actually. This is okay. Okay, let me. user and now let me execute this so it's running so right here you can see we got the response user created successfully so we can also like call the api from here we can execute the api from here okay in the same way we can also call the login API for that we just need this okay. click 
click on here, you can tr click on try it out. so you can see we got 200 response okay we got the token we got the expiration time so like this we can run any api from here simple right i think it's the best thing to give someone the document and ask him to test any api or do anything okay so that's all in this video if you have any questions you can you can write uh, your questions in comment for any explanation or any query okay okay so i will also like add add one like like add add the link to download the code in the comment okay in the comment section okay thank you for watching